Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I want to find out which cities in the US are kind of hurricane proof or at the least, you know, there's a minimal chance that they're going to be affected by a hurricane, severe flooding, climate change as a whole, whether that's possible or not. Because I was just thinking the other day, you know, Florida, lovely place, been there twice with family, really, really lovely place. But with the amount of, you know, like every year now, obviously tornado season happens every year, but it definitely feels to me like the ferocity of these hurricanes is increasing. It feels like they're getting worse. And I just, I don't know, like, are they going to continue to get worse over time? You know, those who say climate change, like who are really sort of uh, advocates of doing things to combat climate change, they keep, they argue that things like this are just going to get worse. So I just thought to myself, you know, if I were moving to the US, like which cities would be on my list? Because as much as Florida looks, is great to be in, the prospect of having to, you know, evacuate your house every year and having to potentially have to rebuild it. Like Floridians watching this, you know, does, do you ever think about leaving the city? Like, do you ever think, you know, maybe I should move somewhere else that's less affected by this? Or are you going to be a Floridian forever? The 10 US states with the lowest risk of climate disasters, including hurricanes, fire and flood. So with Hurricane Milton heading towards Florida and swathes of the South still reading in the wake of Hurricane Helene, many might be wondering, is any place truly safe from extreme weather? It's a valid question, honestly, truly valid question. Indeed, natural disasters have already caused more than $25 billion of damage this year. Wow, that's a lot of money. And Realtor.com found that 44.8% of US homes are at risk for extreme weather exposure, including extreme heat, wind, flood, and wildfires. Wow, that's almost half. But is that, is that, that, that seems like a lot. These threats don't just impinge on people's quality of life. They also affect housing prices. That's what I thought. Like areas in Florida that are like high at risk, surely the price, you know, must be lower because people have to factor in the cost of rebuilding the home, repairing damage. So uh, let me see here. So where? Here we go. Top 10 cities with the lowest risk of climate disasters including hurricane fire and flood so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna each city have a look and see what around three hundred and seventy thousand us because that's about three hundred thousand pounds um which is around about the average property price in the uk now so what can you get in each of these cities for that money so top 10 cities we have with the lowest risk of climate disasters so akron ohio cleveland ohio seattle which is washington i think Columbus, Cincinnati, a lot of Ohio here, a lot of Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Toledo, Grand Rapids. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six Ohio states. So yeah, high concentration over here. Wow. So basically, are they saying that, you know, this entire sort of area of the US is, got, is a, you know, quite significant risk of, uh, natural uh, disasters wow so akron ohio so total value of properties at lowest risk 55 billion dollars okay so what can i get in akron ohio property for sale akron ohio so all and it's usually zillow all right so yeah 350 what can i get is there a way for me to sort this? I, I just want to literally see what is in for that price. So what can I get? So that's 250K. Um, let's see here. So minimum, here we go. So minimum 300. All right, what can I get? Wow, that's huge. <laughs> no way. Let's see, Let's let's get right up to the limit. That is massive. So three bed, three bar, 1,700 square foot. Ooh, this is nice. So, wow, I love the look. I love this dark wood color. So four beds, two bath. 
let's click on these pics. Nice living room. I mean, does it come furnished? Does it come like this? If it comes like this, I mean, that is... Man, this is huge. Okay, this is lovely. I mean, big rooms. Does it come furnished? I, I Like, let's see here. Uh, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. The kitchen has stainless steel appliances. So it sounds like the appliances in the kitchen come. Does it come furnished? It doesn't say. Materials. Da, 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 da. Okay, it doesn't say. So let's go to the next place. So I'm going to assume the Ohio property prices are going to be roughly the same. So let's do one more. So let's see for Ohio Cleveland. So what can I get in Cleveland? Ooh. Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Yeah, just as I thought. So it seems like, wow, eight bedrooms. <laughs> Flipping now. Eight bedrooms, six bathrooms. I mean, a, a, a property this size is like a multi-million pound house in London. Obviously, Cleveland, you know, it might not be the most desirable place to, to be, but just the values are enormous okay let's find another state so we have seattle I, I guess seattle might be a bit more expensive so let's see here so let's get rid of that seattle seattle washington all right what do we got why haven't you ah, property seattle washington all right. Come on. What's taking you so long? Here we go. So what can I get for 370k? Let's find one bed, one bath. Okay. So it's a lot more expensive in Seattle for sure. Can you get a house for that? These all look like apartments. Yeah, they're all apartments. Wow. Okay, fine. Okay, two beds, one bar for 350. Let's see here. So it seems like Seattle is priced quite similar to London in terms of, yeah, you're not getting a huge amount of bang for your buck. Why is this taking forever to load? What's going on? Where are the pictures? But yeah, we can assume, okay, let's let's just click along here. Yeah, it doesn't look, it looks all right. I mean, it's it's all right. But yeah, compared to what you could get in Cleveland, it's just nowhere near, is it? It's just nowhere near. Yeah, that seems like the biggest property you can get. Two beds, two baths. Okay, what other states did we have on this list? So we had Grand Rapids. Let's see, what can you get in Grand Rapids? Don't know why my internet's decided to be so grand rapids property for sale i think grand rapids it's minnesota i guess so three beds two baths so you can get a lot more than you can get in uh seattle but still not as much as you could get in um in uh cleveland this looks all right to be fair yeah, this is nice. I mean, it's quite, it's quaint. It's quaint. Nice living room, wood flooring. Nice kitchen, nice big cooker. Man, we're getting, we're getting robbed over here in London, honestly. Absolutely robbed. I would, I, I like this a lot. So what else can we get? What other things? So three beds, two baths. Another three bed, two baths. Four beds, three baths. Hmm. Of all the cities mentioned here, which would be the best for a guy my age? So four beds, two baths. It's all one level. Quite big. This looks nice, to be fair. Mm hmm. This looks all right. Fireplace. A lot of space. Appliances in the kitchen. Man. 
Yeah, this is nice. Let's do one more. So what other? So we've done Grand Rapids. We've let's do Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What can you get in Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Three beds, three baths. So yeah, it just seems like in that area, in that where's our list here so in this part i'm guessing all of the places we've looked or most of them have been here you can get quite a decent amount of bang for your buck i'm guessing this is where seattle is like let's find a nice one i mean they're all pretty good I'm trying to find one that looks really modern this one looks fairly modern come on Hurry up and load. Ugh. Crying out loud. Let's see if I, maybe if I click into it like this. All right, here we go. So, nah, this is, I mean, it's all, it's, just, it's all right, but it needs modernization, this one. Let's see here. Wow, this one's huge. Come on, I, I need to get better internet. <laughs> and I'm paying a fortune. Like, what's going on here? Ah, forget about it. Interesting. So it seems like, you know, if you want to find a city that is safe or as safe as possible from, you know, fires, flooding, all that stuff, you've only got a small pocket of the US. Like, you know, based on that picture we saw, like, only, mainly... um. Ohio, like, um, and um, Washington, Seattle, like, virtually everywhere else was, uh, you know, at risk. Like, I think it was 44.8% of home, so almost half. But it's interesting to see, you know, the difference in, uh, in property values between, you know, all of the cities that we looked at in um, Ohio versus Seattle. Like, the biggest we found was a two bed. Two bed, one apartment, a two bed, uh, one bathroom apartment. Whereas, you know, we saw like an eight bedroom house in, uh, I think it might have been Akron. But yeah, I, just food for thought for, you know, any people like in Florida that have been through Helene, that have been through Milton, you know, because I'm sure there will be people who think, man, I love Florida, but I just don't know if I can keep dealing with this every year. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy my videos, please help me out by liking and subscribing.